long time coming, but this is great news. A former employee of the Arizona State Hospital who left their job after being assaulted at work is excited to hear that change is being made to the way the hospital is run and regulated. The hospital has had a troubled history. Just last year, patients were arrested for allegedly barricading staff inside the hospital and tried to use medical equipment as weapons. We've also reported two patient suicides in the hospital within one month in 2021, and in 2019, there was a homicide. You've been covering these stories for a long time, and we've seen a lot of hurt. Things. The hospital's governing body is responsible for making sure the hospital is following the laws and running smoothly. It's been made up of 11 people, five of which are state employees. Now it's expanding to 20 people to add more roles not affiliated with the state, like mental health advocates and a behavioral care expert. The hospital's CEO and Governor Katie Hobbs feel that this will create more transparency. In a statement, the governor said, with these new appointments, I'm confident that we are taking important steps to promote the safety of patients and staff at ASH while increasing independent oversight. My first reaction was, it's about time, and thank you. Earlier this year, Senator David Gowan introduced a bill that would have given the hospital its own control with its own five-person, completely independent governing board for better oversight. But that bill failed. Attorney Holly Kiesel, who represents patients and staff at the hospital, still believes that that is the best option. A truly independent board is not going to let politics it's not going to let personal relationships stand in the way of adequate, thorough, standard of care investigations. Now, another big issue the hospital has dealt with has been filling their open positions. We asked them today how many openings they have. At last check, they did not get back to us. But when we talked to them earlier this year, they had more than 100 openings and said that they were actively recruiting. Live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family.